As we saw recently, the cannabis industry is rapidly expanding, waiting for more markets to open. So far, 29 states have medical cannabis programs, and eight of those have legalized cannabis for recreational use. Today, the state Senate Judiciary Committee held a hearing on Chairman Scutari's cannabis legalization bill, bringing it one step closer to a vote on the floor. Laws that prohibit marijuana have not worked. They simply have failed. It's time to end those failed laws and create a well-regulated system in New Jersey. As it stands right now, the bill legalizes possession of up to an ounce of cannabis for adults and legalizes cannabis products, including edibles and concentrates. It immediately decriminalizes possession of up to 50 grams. That's 1.7 ounces. It creates a division of marijuana enforcement overseen by the state attorney general. The DME will set regulations and license guidelines. It establishes a sales tax scale beginning at 7 percent and escalating to 25 percent after five years. Right now, the bill prohibits home growing, bans public use, and allows municipalities to establish local regulations. You can cite all kinds of statistics, but numbers are numbers. Colorado went from 40th in job growth to fourth. It's getting younger. Young people are moving to Colorado. Look, there's always downsides to everything, but there was a hell of a lot more up than down in this one. And I was impressed with my Republican colleagues that went also because we all went with an open mind. Senator Kip Bateman was one of the Republicans who accompanied Scutari, Sweeney, and others on a fact-finding trip to Colorado last year. I was very impressed. I was impressed with the regulations on how they have it controlled and how clean it was and how um, they really did their homework setting up the whole framework of um, regulation. So, you know, I'm open-minded on this issue, obviously. Those providing testimony today included members of the medical, law enforcement, civic, and political communities. Most in favor, some with very compelling stories, like former state Republican Party executive director Robert Cresson, a former triathlete and marathoner who now suffers from complex regional pain syndrome. Today I come to you as a medical cannabis user. New Jersey's cannabis laws are beyond broken. In fact, they actually hurt people. Today we're poised to right those wrongs, which is why even though I really feel miserable this morning, I feel the need to be here today. Republican Senator Gerald Cardinale offered pointed questions to activists like the ACLU New Jersey, which presented findings from their recent report showing blacks and Latinos are three times as likely to be arrested for cannabis possession than whites. Well, are you suggesting that law enforcement in the 39th district is racially motivated when they are doing their job? Well, I'm su simply suggesting that there is disparate enforcement, but I am not suggesting any reasons why those racial disparities exist. I, we encourage the uh, state attorney general's office to investigate why those racial disparities exist, exist not just in marijuana enforcement, but in uh, enforcement of low-level fences that also uh, disproportionately affect, impact Latinos as well. I am concerned with respect to false narratives being used to create a major change in our laws. The bill is not perfect or final. Concerns remain over selective enforcement, as you just heard, as well as home cultivation, public consumption, and expungement of old cannabis arrests. Nonetheless, the bill could make it to the floor as early as the first quarter of 2018, when there will be a new governor and supporters believe someone eager to sign it. In the newsroom, I'm David Cruz. NJTV News.